Sir, I came to tell you that our researchers just found a groundbreaking way to make even more money off of our customers. Groundbreaking, you say? Okay. You caught my attention. Go on. Okay, so you know how between 2016 to 2018, the curves on the SAT have been pretty generous? Like how on the December 2016 exam, four wrong would still get you a 780 in the math section? Yeah. Well, what if we start making the curves hella trashy? Hella trashy? Yeah, I'm talking like minus one on the math section converting to a 770 instead of an 800 or 790 like in the past. Okay, I mean, I'm not opposed to making our customers suffer a little bit. I mean, that's why we created the SAT in the first place, but how will that make us more money? Well, if the curves are terrible, our customers will be upset with their scores. So they will retake the SAT. Yep. Which means we could double or even triple our profits. Yep. Then I'll have enough money to book premium tickets to Justin Bieber's 2020 tour. Yep. Wait, what? Um, nothing. Hey, go think of some more ideas for me to make money. And don't disturb me. I think I'm catching the Bieber fever. I mean, uh, the beaver fever. Yeah. Just get out. Sir, you are not gonna believe this. Forget those Justin Bieber concert tickets. We found a way to make so much money, you can literally buy Justin Bieber. Hey, I'm not buying any... Wait, did you say I can buy Justin Bieber? Yeah, so I was thinking, what if we started charging our customers $12 to send their SAT scores to each college they're applying to? So, say a customer is applying to 10 colleges, that's 120 bucks in the piggy bank right there. That's not bad at all. And that's not all. If a customer wants to send an SAT score report to a college within a day or two, we'll charge an extra 31 bucks. I call it SAT rush reporting. That's genius. But wait, we're sending our customers SAT scores electronically. That literally takes only five seconds. So our customers don't need to know that. And even if they knew, it's not like they can do anything about it. Just one of the many perks of being a monopoly. Oh, okay. <sighs> Is something wrong? I mean, I want to take all this money, you know, but I also want to feel good doing it. Oh, you don't have to worry about that. We'll just call ourselves a nonprofit organization and change our slogan to something like paving a path towards college success. I love it. You know what? We got to celebrate. Go tell everyone to pack their bags. We're going to Justin Bieber's 2020 tour. And hey, tickets are on me.